guys, um, this video is a request from my new subscriber. His name is JUAYACO3299. Welcome to my channel. His uh, question was how did I make my in, -cyl in cylinder pressure transducer? And uh, in this video, I'm going to explain step by step how to do it, what kind of supply, what you're going to need. And, uh, so, uh, uh, this is my uh, this is the unit that I have. Um, this box is just uh, like AC adapter that I found in the house. Uh, just, I just needed a box that I can put my uh, um, parts in it. Um, I, on the back I glued the Velcro and uh, I glued this um, magnet so I can, I can uh, put it in the car. So, uh, out, so now here I have a, uh, my leads for, that I hook up to my uh, multimeter or lab scope and then I have a harness that's hooked up to my sensor pressure transducer so this uh, I'm gonna I have another one it's gonna be easy to see uh, this is my really first one that I made it's kind of a spaghetti but I'll, I'll explain this so basically what you're gonna need is a uh, in cylinder pressure transducer this is a 300 psi you're gonna need a uh, harness. Uh, most of the time, they, they come together with the harness anyway. Uh, I will leave a uh, link in the description to all these uh, parts that you're gonna need. So you're gonna need a harness. You're gonna need a pressure transducer. You're gonna need a five volt converter, and then uh, you will need a uh, uh, some kind of a lead. Like on this one, I use a BNC lead so I can hook it up to my lab scope, and you will need like. You can use the, your, your battery, uh, your source of the power, or it can be a battery, the, the car battery, it can be a 9 volt battery. So if you want to use a 9 volt battery, you're going to need one of these um, connectors so you can, you can plug in your battery. And so uh, to uh, hook up your unit, so you're going to have a 5 volt uh, converter. Uh, this unit has a four wires, uh, has the uh, red and black, that's going to be connected to your, to your power. Uh, so red goes to positive, black goes to negative. Uh, in between you should have some kind of switch uh, like I have in this unit. Uh, on, on this unit I do not have a switch because I just connect it straight to my, to my car battery so I don't, I don't need a switch. And um, so that's your uh, the power and ground. Uh, on the other side, on the output, you're going to have yellow and black wire. Yellow wire is your 5 volt reference the 5 volt wire and then you have a black that's your ground on your uh, sensor harness side you're going to have three wires you're going to have a 5 volt reference you're going to have a ground and your sensor wire okay now your um, the yellow wire that's basically the 5 volts that comes from the from the converter is going to be hooked up to uh, connected to a red wire on your harness okay so Yellow from the converter to red to your harness. All right. That's so that yellow goes to red. Okay. Now your um, uh, ground from your converter, your black wire, is going to be connected to the black wire from your harness. It's kind of hard to see it. It sits underneath this uh, shrink tube. Okay. So you're going to have black wire coming from your harness right there. So black goes to black. And also, you're going to need to splice this black wire because you're going to need the ground for, for your uh, uh, multimeter. So you're going to also connect one black wire to, the, to your uh, ground also, and it's going to be con that's going to be your ground lead, basically, for your voltmeter, okay? And uh, uh, this is one that I have on my BNC connector. So this is what, uh, let me see. So this is the ground side, okay? So this is this black wire here. So the black goes from the converter to your uh, black on your harness and then again goes into your, into your lead, okay, to, to the ground side. And your, uh, your blue wire from your, from your sensor is basically your signal wire. So you're going to have uh, uh, your lead, your positive lead from your multimeter is going to be connected to the blue wire, okay. I hope this makes sense. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's not, not, nothing to it. So now in this uh, setup, I decided to use my BNC connector. 
Now that's just what I had in the garage and I'll show you now how uh, this works. So my, uh, my leads I'm gonna connect it to my battery. I got a battery on the floor here so the positive to positive, negative to negative. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna connect the. Uh, I'm actually gonna connect my lead first. Okay, so you can see I have a zero volts now. Uh, actually, yeah. Okay, and now when I when I when I plug in my sensor, basically the sensor works. So zero psi is gonna be like a half a volt, so five hundred millivolts. And the three hundred psi on this one will be like four and a half volts. So you can see I have five hundred millivolts on my. Uh, so this is a zero psi. Okay, and now. Uh, I'm gonna get my air compressor and I'm gonna put some pressure on the pressure transducer so we can see that on our uh, on our signal. See that? All right, here we go. The maximum was uh, 1.8 volts. Okay, so you can see our uh, pressure here. Oh, okay. So again, this is uh, on the wiring diagram. So I got a five volt converter, red and black goes to your battery. The uh, yellow is your five volt. It's gonna go to a red um, uh, wire from your uh, sensor harness. Uh, the black is go is gonna be ground. That's gonna be connected to your sensor ground. The black wire also. Now on your on your black wire, you will have to splice it. And take one. Uh, use this uh, ground for your for your voltmeter for the ground side, and your blue wire from the sensor harness is your signal wire, and you're gonna use that as your as your positive lead for your multimeter, so you can measure the voltage from your from your sensor. All right, guys, that should be it. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.